Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's Sunday man, sort of the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir Oscars Path. So y'all, before we <clears throat> before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming not safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. <clears throat> let's calm him down. One of you said, I think, to com uh, not comfort him, calm him down. Yeah. Reaching out is probably a good idea right now. He's already acting up, but I don't want to provoke him any further. Whatever's happening seems to be because of the sex we were the sex we were doing. Or maybe it was because he was touching me. He seemed to be struggling with keeping his hands on me, but he's usually so affectionate it isn't a problem. What changed? Regardless, I need to calm him down. I just have to do it in a way that doesn't involve comforting him physically. Hey, Oscar, look at me, okay? Just focus on me. Can you do that? For a moment, I thought he was going to just ignore me, but he takes a few deep breaths before turning his attention towards me. I take a step forward, but that's a mistake as he immediately takes one away from me, nearly tripping himself on the chair holding his shirt. It's enough to jostle some sense into him, and he shakes himself off. He's not over hes not over whatever spooked him, but he's not freaking out anymore. Our eyes meet, and they're swirling full of emotions I've never seen from him before. Ones that I can only imagine he's bottled up with how positive he is. They're filled with sadness, confusion, and a whole lot of regret. Wallace, uh, fuck, man. I'm sorry. I just can't go through with this. I'm really, I really can't. Can you tell me what happened? No, I can't. I really can't. I, I should just go. <clears throat> Before I can say anything, Oscar grabs his shirt and rushes to put it on, nearly ripping the fabric as he shoves his head, his head through the gap. <clears throat> it's emotion filled with ferocity and desperation. Wait, Oscar, I just can't, leave you, can't let you go out there. Whatever's going on, it's clear that it freaked you out. Wallace, please, just leave this alone. I should have done this. It was fucked up to both of us. Wait! Uh. But he doesn't. He moves forward. He moves towards the door, shooting back a glance that told me many things. An apology for everything that's happened. Regret for what he's about to do, and... A deep sadness that doesn't feel related to me. He pulls on the door, and I nearly reach out to stop him before I hesitate. I know that's a bad idea. He seems sensitive right now, and I can't break that. I just need something else. I tried to remember back through everything we've done before, before we've done, but there's no time to think as he grabs the door handle. So I just say the first thing that comes to mind. Do you remember when we were in that nightmare and you had to guide me through that tunnel? There wasn't any plan behind what I said, but I did manage to get him to hesitate, and I leap on the opportunity in an instant. You asked me to trust you, then, then I did. I was scared, but you were there to help me through. It was amazing. So please, have some faith in me too, and we can talk about this. I want to help with whatever's wrong. There's no helping with what's wrong. I messed up, man, that's all. You said you wouldn't abandon me, so don't so don't go just yet. That makes him shoulders that makes his shoulders slump, and for a moment I swear I could see myself breaking through the cracks. But he steals his resolve and yanks the door open. For a second I thought it was gonna slam against the wall, but he catches it, letting it gently come to a stop as he slips out. He stares back at me, I can see the words on his tongue. But he doesn't say anything and closes the door, leaving me alone in a well of questions with no answers. I didn't really know what happened. There you go. Gotta drink some water. I stay there for several long minutes, just running through what just happened. How did we even get to this point? He seemed perfectly normal until we started doing stuff. Wait, that isn't entirely true either. He was worried about this whole thing getting in the way of our friendship. Is this a part of that too? I feel like that's close to the answer, but not quite it. I just don't have the pieces yet, but regardless, Oscar's in a pretty fragile state. Leaving him alone to cool off is a possible option, but I feel like if I did that, it might ruin things for good. I have a bad feeling that this is a pretty important moment between the two of us. Without waiting for another moment, I try calling Oscar's phone, but he doesn't pick up. In fact, he actively declines my call. That's almost enough to deter me, but he truly looked like he needed some help. My help. The main problem is that I have no idea where he would go. The pool feels like it would be too obvious, right? But maybe someone else knows. Grabbing my phone once more, I make another call in my haste, not really thinking of the complications of doing so. I'm just acting before thinking. They pick up. They pick up, but they don't say anything on the other side. Not that I should have expected them to. Selwyn, sorry, I know I should have called you while you were hanging out, but I really need your help. Oh, right, I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. Uh, something happened with Oscar, and I really need to talk to you. I'll text you the... It's okay. At first, I thought I imagined hearing something before realizing that Selwyn's talking to me. It's barely above a whisper, but I can still make it out. 
His voice is different than I had been expecting from his build. I always imagined him having something cute and high-pitched, but it's a lot deeper than I was expecting. He sounded like he was struggling with his words, and there's, and there's panting, which makes me think he's running somewhere. It'll be there soon. <sighs> He hangs up. At, he hangs up after that, and I place and I pace around my room for a moment before remembering that I'm still in just my underwear. I quickly throw on the clothes I've been wearing that have been haphazardly thrown onto the spare bed. I'm barely able to make myself look presentable as Selwyn, as Selwyn's knocks come much faster than I've been anticipating. It's easy to figure out why when I as I open it, when I open it as he's panting heavily and looks like he just ran all the way here. Are you okay? Did you run all the way here? He shakes his head before pulling out his phone once more, opening up our chat so we can talk in our own way. I guess the phone call was just a fluke. Uh, I was just upstairs with Lucas. He told me what he told me what your room number was. Oh, right, forgot about that. So many things happen. Wait, were you sleeping there tonight? He just nods like I'm the one who just said something weird. I expected him to elaborate, but he doesn't. Not that I mind. I have more important stuff to go over. Oscar and I were about to, you know, but then he started freaking out and left. I don't really know what happened. Been hoping that Selwyn would have some kind of answer for them, but he just looks as confused as me. This hasn't happened before, no doubt. And... Alright, one second. Let me know if I picked the bad route, y'all. <clears throat> I've been hoping that Selwyn would have some kind of answer for me, but he just looks as confused as me. This hasn't happened before, no doubt. Do you know where he might have gone? He thinks about it. He thinks about it before his eyes squint, and he starts to run off back down the hall to the stairs only taking the time to send me a single text as he disappears down the stairwell. Go check out the pool. I have an idea where he might be, but you should check there, just in case. Are you sure I should go? He seems pretty upset. I think he'll do a lot better than me. I think he likes you more than me, honestly. What? Just talk to him. I know you can get through to him. But we need to find him first. I'll let you know if I see him. If I'll, I'll let you know if I see him there. Okay, I'll check the gym. I quickly re-ready myself for everything I need to uh, need and rush out of the apartment, hoping to God that I can find Oscar before he disappears back to his frat house. I don't even know if Selwyn's been there. I'm about to make it to the elevator when the stairs stairs door when the stair doors open and a very confused looking Lucas comes out, just taking a startled step back as he sees me. What happened? Uh, Selwyn just got a call and ran out of the room without saying anything. Something just happened with Oscar and we're gonna find and we're going out to find him. I think I messed up or something went wrong. I don't really know. Did you need any help? It's getting late. You shouldn't be going out after dark. You don't have to come. I'll be okay. I, I doubt he would have gone too far. I know my way around. If you're sure, but if you wanted, I could stay in your room until you get back, just in case he shows up. You'd do that? Yeah, I guess. He might annoy me and confuse the hell out of me, but I know Oscar's not bad. He means a lot to you, too. I can stay and wait for him for a while. If you could, that would be amazing. Just send me a message if he shows back up. That would mean the world to me. I can't imagine myself. I can't help myself and give Lucas a hug that I've been holding him. That I've been holding him ever since Oscar started freaking out. I wanted to give. I wanted to give give him it, but I could tell it would have only made would have only made things worse. Lucas looks shocked, but doesn't make any attempt to push me away. He just stands there, stiff as a board, until I pull away. There's a question in his eyes, but he doesn't. But he doesn't voice it. I'll get my stuff from my room. Might as well do some studying while I'm there. You're a lifesaver. I'll tell Lee about what's going on too. He'd probably be better for helping you out if you, helping you out if you got in trouble. I'd only get in the way. But I wasn't able to talk to him as I dashed through the door and down the stairs. I don't have time to wait for the elevator. I want to check out the pool as soon as possible. It isn't late enough for things to be dangerous, but it's still a little scary to be walking around late at night. Due to us cuddling in bed, I expected the time to be around 11, but it's not even 9 yet. The two of us must have lost track of time when Autumn's early nights are deceiving. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't expect him to be loitering around the streets. Selwyn would have seen him otherwise, and I haven't heard from him since he left. <clears throat> Part of me just wants to call him again for reassurance, but that's unfair. He might have spoken to me before, but it sounded like he was really struggling. He seemed to have some idea of where Oscar might be, so I have to have faith in him and check out the campus in the meantime. There are a shocking amount of people walking the streets this late. They must have been saved. They must have been having a Saturday night out. It's a small comfort that I'm not going to be walking the streets completely alone. Just like the streets outside, the campus is filled with students. And it's daytime again. <laughs> even this late. Even, even, even this late. This late. <laughs> you know, blue skies at nighttime. The campus is filled with students even this late. There even looks to be some kind of welcoming party near the main courtyard. But I can't be concerned about that right now. 
I did a quick scan for Oscar, but I didn't see him anywhere nearby. I should just make a direct line to the gym, but there's one other area I want to check out just in case. Keeping a quick pace, I keep, my, I keep myself to just a walk to not draw attention. There really was no need to rush. Oscar didn't look like he was going to run away, and if he did, there's no way I'd be able to catch up to him. Thankfully, no one bothers me at all. Though a part of me is sad that Oscar didn't just didn't just take me to this instead. Maybe this whole thing would have, wouldn't have happened happened if we did. But then again, who knows if this didn't happen later? It might be for the best that this happens now. Arriving at the student bar, I peek through the window, trying to search for Oscar's large form. If there's one thing I appreciate about how gigantic he is, it's spotting him in a crowd. He truly towers over everyone. But he isn't in there. The only people I recognize are Nathan alongside the group that I met earlier. I think he mentioned going out with them on Saturdays. I almost go in to ask him if he's, if he's seen Oscar before changing my mind. He has my number and likely would have told me if he saw Oscar looking distressed. He knew that the two of us were hanging out tonight, and if I show up saying Oscar bailed after trying to sleep with me, it might ruin all progress the two of them have made. That isn't fair to either of them. Even if, that, even if what Oscar did hurt, it's clear he did it because there's something more going on. I don't know why, but it sounded like he thought that if he slept with me, that he'd abandon me like he did with Nathan. But I don't get why he thought he would. He promised me Nathan. He promised me Nathan that he wouldn't. I'm pretty sure he wasn't lying. What am I doing? There's no use in trying to make any assumptions. The best thing would be for me to find him and talk to him. I'll do what someone told me and go check out the pool. It sounds like a pretty obvious place from the sounds of it. That's where they, that's where he goes if things are bad. And again, Oscar's a lot smarter than any of us gave him credit for. If he's trying to avoid me, then, he's, then he probably wouldn't have come here. But I have to try. I arrive at the gym to someone I recognize leaving the building. Someone who I wasn't looking for, but I'm excited to see all the same. It isn't Oscar, but his coach, leaving the building with a large duffel bag that looked full, full to the brim. <clears throat> he must be packing up for the night. He hasn't noticed me at first as he wipes his tired face that still looks damp, likely from the locker room showers. It's like, you know. Uh, okay. Alright. But it doesn't take long for our eyes to meet. Oh, Oscar's little friend. What are you doing here at this time? I wasn't sure how to answer at first, but I didn't want to admit what happened, but I've never been good with lying to people. I'm looking for Oscar. He hasn't been answering his phone, and we were supposed to meet up tonight. I thought he might be here. Thankfully not. Oscar hasn't been around all day. Maybe that boy's finally taking my advice to heart. He is? Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you the next time I saw you. Wallace, right? Yeah, that's my name. I didn't expect to see you so soon, but maybe that's just fate. If you got the time, I wanted to talk to you about some things. Me? Not Oscar? Nah, I can always catch that guy most days of the week. You're the factor that's changed things. You got time? I can't... I need to find Oscar. Wallace, is everything alright? You look distressed. I'm fine, I'm just worried about him. He hasn't been answering his phone. Hmm, I see. Two of you are close, aren't you? If you want my advice, it'll be fine if you just talk to him. Oscar's stubborn like a mule. No offense to them, but it's true. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's awfully fond of you. He'll listen. You think so? I can tell you're a good kid, but guys like you think too much. Go find him and just talk. It isn't rocket science. You're right. Sorry I couldn't stay for our chat. It's just a simple talk. It isn't important. I'll find you around campus next week. Go enjoy your weekend. Tell Oscar to keep doing what he's doing. Okay. Don't worry about that. He'll get it. Now scram. It's getting too late for someone as small as you to be out. I'll be fine. I just need to find Oscar. I doubt that. Like I said, I know your types. You never take care of yourself. Just find him and scurry home. He gives me a dismissive way before heading for heading off towards the edge of the campus, only taking a moment to adjust his back. He doesn't even bother giving me another glance. He just continues to walk away until he takes a turn and disappears out of sight. And I'm left standing there in front of the pool with no idea where to go now. Where would Oscar even go from here? Some bar, some bar I've never been to? Without any leads on where to go now, I'm, str I'm left stranded. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Kate Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for more contents as little as $5. Alrighty. I love you all, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!